Hello. One of the great things about Flowcode is that you can easily change your program to work from one chip to another. And in this video, I'm going to show you how that's done. To help us here, we've written a small program. And if I just press the play button, I've got an LED here, which is flashing at one second intervals connected to A3. I've got a relay output and a potentiometer and when the value on the potentiometer falls below around 1.5 or 1.6 volts then the relay comes on. I've also got a display here and I'm just displaying the reading uh, from the get byte function so it's, it shows the potentiometers going from 0 to 255. So that's the program. You can see it here working on the hardware. What I've got is an eBlocks board. Um, this is a PIC 16F18877 and we present the outputs on these ports here. On port A and B I've got what we call a combo board and a combo board is just a bunch of switches, LEDs and a few sensors and you can see that if I alter the potentiometer value uh, the display goes from 0 to 255 and the uh, port A bit 4 that pin comes on and port A bit 3 is flashing. So that's a simple program. What we're going to do is show you how you can transfer that to an Arduino. So to change to an Arduino, the first thing we do is we have to change the chip in the project. Um, and if we go up, if we go project options and then choose a different target, you can see all the different Arduinos that you can choose from. Uh, and in this case, I'm actually going to select a BL0055, which is this hardware board. And the advantage there is that all the clocks and everything is, is chosen for you. So the first thing you do is you choose, change the chip and then Floco tells you, hang on a minute, your components are connected incorrectly. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll change them. So we'll change the first pulsing LED um, to go onto port C bit three. We'll change the relay LED to go on port C bit 4. We'll change the, the potential to stay as it, as it is, AN1, and the display goes on to port D. Um, Floco's got a neat feature here. You change the first one and then say auto connect and it connects the others for you. So that's changed the connections. Oh, the other thing that we need to do is you need to watch the um, potentiometer settings because it's now a 5 volt board and the reference is just a slightly different terminology so you need to get that right. Um, we can simulate that make sure that works um, so there's the relay output varying with potentiometer now it's turning on at 2.5 volts rather than 1.6 and we're flashing on there and we've got a readout on the display. So the next thing we need to do is just check the compiler settings and make sure the programmer is linked. No, it isn't because I haven't changed the hardware over yet. So what we'll do is we'll change the hardware. Um, so we'll plug in the Arduino board. There you go, you can hear it ka-ching. Uh, and what we'll do then is we'll compile to the target so that's compiling now. Yeah, we've got to say, oh, I'll give it a different name. File, save as. Okay, then we compile that. And we connect the hardware. Press reset and you should see now that that program has transferred nicely to the Arduino. So our potentiometer is going between 0 and 255. Um, the, uh, re this is the relay LED which is coming on and off nicely and the, the flashing on port uh, um, A4 is also uh, flashing nicely. So that program has transferred really well. So what do you do if you want to transfer that to an ESP? So 
So this is our Arduino program and we want to move it to an ESP32 load in light. So the first thing we do is we change the chip. So ESP and a MISC, we've got a BL0058, which is this piece of hardware here. Um, and that is a low LIN light. So we modify the chip and it says again, hang on a minute, some of your connections are not right. So we need to change our connections. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and uh, we're going to alter the connections of the LEDs. So that goes back to port A bit three, that goes back to port A bit four. The LCD now is going on to A, uh, ADC5, AN5. Um, and the display is going on to port B. Um, and we'll auto connect that. And let's get the reference right here again. We're actually at a 3.3 um, volt um, chip. So let's get that one right. Let's just check the simulation works. Okay. Um, we've got flashing there on A3. Um, we've got the potentiometer working nicely, the display working nicely, and the relays coming on and off. So that's our program. Um, what we then need to do is we need to uh, check that the USB is... Oh, we haven't changed the hardware yet. Let's change the hardware. So let's move over to a Lowland light. So there's the hardware. Let's get that right. Uh, project options, there you go, there he is. So we change the hardware over. Now we can compile, we give it a different name again, file, save as, uh, CC, call it Lolin, CC Lolin, and we compile that to target. So I've cut a little bit out there because the ESP takes a little longer, about uh, 50 seconds to compile. Um, the program's now gone in and we can connect the board to it and press reset. And now you should see that, again, I've got a potentiometer reading on the display. That's working nicely. I've got my flashing LED and I've got the relay light coming on and off when the potentiometer is below about 1.6 volts. So that shows you how to transfer between a Arduino and an ESP. And you've seen now how easy it is to transfer your flow code program between the more than 1,700 different microcontrollers that flow code supports. Okay, thank you for watching.